Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like at o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Now, uh, excuse me. I said that I was going to do a video on uh, why road teams have a greater advantage on noon games in the NHL. Uh, first of all, before I do that, Mr. Wilkerson, uh, in your Patreon, I have left you the over that I have for today. So I know you're watching. Uh, who wouldn't be? Everybody does. So uh, you uh, go over there and I will let you know. And uh, I'll write that down in the comment section here and in my other one as well. Okay. Um, so why is it that on the road that the... Uh, road team has more of an advantage. I'm not saying it has the advantage, but it has more of an advantage. Sometimes, depending on the teams, it can put them in plus money, even though they seldom give them plus money. I like taking road teams a lot on afternoon games. Now, the reason why is, being an ex-hockey player myself, now, I never made it high up or whatever the case may be but I did do a lot of traveling and stuff like that a lot of tournaments I did play midget triple a and uh stuff like that and some juniors and taking buses and everything you get in a route we 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 I don't know about humans in general generally speaking humans like to get in a routine and uh it uh it sets their mind to get as much of a routine as possible. Now, that can be a little difficult for hockey players in general. Uh, being on the road, it's part of the reason why uh, road teams have, it's harder to win on the road. It breaks up a routine. Uh, you, you know, say the flight doesn't uh, get there when it's supposed to. Um, you're flying in general, going through... Uh, time zones and so on and so forth like that. All that has to c c take and be taken into account. Uh, now, if you have an afternoon game and you're on the road, generally speaking, what you do is you'll, uh, um, so sometimes you'll stay where you are, sleep, and then fly in for the game and then you get an hour or whatever. And it's, a little bit different than the routine, but on the road, you're, you're, it's like your mind, the mindset is, is engaged for the routine not being the same. You understand what I'm saying? It's like people are more prepared to have that uh, happen. Also, I found with afternoon games, there was something about the, uh, um, like a lot of, players like to have afternoon naps, okay? On the road, quite often, you it's a little more difficult to do that. If you have an afternoon game, the home team quite often doesn't get a nap either. That's right around the time that they're in their nap stage. So they are on an equal playing field as you. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, the, that's breaking up their routine. They also have family and such. And uh, in the evening games, they can go out with their kids or do something with their family and stuff like that. In the afternoon games, what they'll often do is because they're with their families uh, or girlfriends or what have you, is they will plan their stuff after the game instead of before the game. Usually that's, um, sometimes when there's evening games, they'll plan something after that, but it's not very often. It's usually late, right? So their minds will actually be kind of focused on things happening after the game rather than the game itself. Um, when, you're, when, when a team is at home, especially if they're on a long road trip or a long home trip, like it's their third or fourth game, day and then all of a sudden you throw a day shift a day game at them or shift you know I don't know if you've ever worked evenings and then had to work a day or if you work days and then had to work an evening it kind of messes you up a little bit well athletes are human they're just like us it sort of messes them up a little bit and as a road team you're prepared for being messed up a little bit it's something that you're kind of thinking about already you're already part in it. 
And at the very least, it sort of evens it out, the disadvantage of being on the road when you have an after when it, when we have an afternoon game. There's one more reason. Uh, I could probably come up with more, but these are the best ones that I know of. There's one more reason. Um, the crowd is different in the afternoon. Generally speaking, people don't drink as much in the afternoon. Um, when I drank, that didn't apply, but <laughs> maybe it does it for you. But uh, generally speaking, you don't. And kids are there. It's more child. It's more family orientated. You know, fans love the afternoon stuff, especially kids, because the kids can be there and stuff like that. Quite often, the players' kids are there. So their mind is kind of off a little bit on that too, right? It changes the, you don't have the rowdiness as much. You don't have the, 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 the um, crowd behind you as much with the same energy. So it takes, it takes the steam out of the home team a little bit. It takes away some of the advantages of being a home team in an afternoon game. So when you're doing picks, remember that. And there's more to it than that, and you'll hear me when I do my picks, why sometimes I'll take the road team in an afternoon game. But more often than not, those are great times to swing. Uh, because what happened, cappers generally don't take in this into consideration. It's just stats of who they played before and what, the, how, what their records are and road and all that stuff like that. So you can get some good value by taking a road team in the afternoons. That's my full 42%, boys and girls. That's all I have to give. I'm going to throw the Patreon link down there. I'm going to hope you can put... Oh, one thing I'm going to say about this is about the Patreon. I'm going to throw some of these out there straight to the YouTube for everybody. But quite often, most of these I'm going to be putting right on Patreon. That's just more of the fine programming that you might get if you uh, support this fine cause that we're doing, where we're going to go and see everyone. We're gonna if we, if we make money, we're gonna make you money, and we're gonna come see you. We'll meet each and in, meet people individually, all of those things like that. Take you to hockey games, all that kind of stuff like that. So if you have a little bit to help us support us on Patreon, that would be beautiful because YouTube itself really there's not much. It's it's hard to keep. Uh, get an income coming that we can do this on a regular basis, especially when you got a full-time job. So that would really help if you could support us over there and we will support you, promise. There's gonna be tons of challenges and all of that stuff like that. So you can make a little bit back, maybe even a lot back. Helping each other out, being uh, uh, you know, namaste. I don't have my cup, my cup's at the, the four cup, the, the four guys cup cleaning company today. So, but namaste to you and lots of love to you.